Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x to the power of 3 minus y to the power of 3. This is equal to 91. So what is the value of x and what is the value of y, given that x and y, these are members of positive integers. And such that x is not equal to 0, as well as y is not equal to 0. So let's prevent a solution from here. Now, we have x to the power of 3 minus y to the power of 3. This is equal to 91. This is in the form of a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, which is the difference of 2 cubes here, which you can express as a minus b. a to the power of 2, then plus ab, then plus b squared. Applying this identity, then we have here x minus y into the parentheses here, this is x to the power of 2, then plus xy, then plus y squared, this is equal to 91. Now, we have that. The next step from here, the next step from here, we have that x minus y is less than x squared plus xy plus y squared. Now, the next step is to get the prime factors of 91. That is now, we have 1 times 91. This will give us 91. Then we have 91 times 1. This will give us 91. Then again, we have, we have 7 times 13. This is equal to 91. Then we have 13 times 7. This is equal to 91. Now, the next step is that x minus y is less than x squared plus xy plus y squared. So this means that 1 times 91, this satisfies the condition. And this implies that this is the first case here. Then 91 times 1, this does not satisfy this condition here. Then we have that 7 times that any, this satisfies the condition here, given that 7 is less than 13. And then we have 13 is not less than 7, so this does not satisfy the equation. So this means that we have two cases here. We have that case 1. This is equal to, we have x minus y, x squared plus xy plus y squared. This is equal to we have 1 times 91. Now, this implies that x minus y, this is equal to 1. And here we have x to the power of 2 plus xy plus y to the power of 2. This is equal to 91. Now, x minus y here, we can square both signs here. So that now, here we have x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. This is equal to 1. Now, we have here x squared, then plus xy, then plus y squared. This is equal to 91. So these actually are two systems of green equations. So we have minus 2xy plus y squared. This is equal to 1. Now, we can subtract these two systems of free equation so that now we have x squared minus x squared. This is equal to 0. xy minus minus 2xy. This is 3xy. Then, then y squared minus y squared. This is equal to 0. Then this is equal to 91 minus 1, this is equal to 90. Now we have that 3xy, this is equal to 90. So let's divide both sides by 3. So if you simplify here, we have that xy, this is equal to 90 divided by 3, and this is equal to 30. Now given that x minus y, this is equal to 1, then we can make x to be the subject of the formula. 
that is x is equal to 1 plus y. So let's substitute this x into this equation here so that we have 1 plus y multiplied by y. This is equal to 30. So now, here we have y times 1. This is y plus y times y. This is y squared. This is equal to 30. So let's take 30 on the left hand side so that now we have y squared plus y minus 30. This is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation. We can solve this by factorization. In this case, we have the product is equal to minus 30. And you have the sum is equal to 1. In this case, we identify two factors. And these two factors, we have, this is the same thing as 6. This is 6y. And we have 5. This is the same thing as 6y and minus 5y. So substituting this, we have y squared plus 6y. Subtract 5y here. Then minus 30. This is equal to 0. We have two parts here, here, and also we have the other parts here. So from this part here, y is common here, so we can factor out y so that into the parentheses we have y plus 6, then minus 5y and 30. You find that 5 is common here, we can factor out 5, so that now into the parentheses we have y minus 6. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. So this implies that we have y plus, this is actually y plus 6. y plus 6 is common here, so this implies that we can express this as y plus 6. And we have y minus 5. This is equal to 0. We have two parts here. We have y plus 6. This is equal to 0. And we have y minus 5. This is equal to 0. So this implies that y1 here, this is equal to minus 6. And we have y2 here, this is equal to 5. So we can solve for the corresponding values of x. Remember x here is the same thing as 1 plus y. So we can solve for x1 here. x1 will be equal to 1 plus y, which is minus 6. y1 is minus 6. So this is the same thing as 1 minus 6, and this is equal to minus 5. And this implies that here we have x1, comma, y1. This is equal to, this is equal to minus 5, minus 6. So this is the first set of solution here. Now, given that y2 is 5, let's solve for x2. Now, the first set of solution is x1, y1, which is minus 5, minus 6. Given y2 is 5, we can solve for x2. Remember, x here is equal to, we have 1 plus y. So, we have x2 is equal to 1 plus 5, and this is equal to 6. So, x2, comma, y2. This is equal to 6, 5. So this is the second set of solution under case 1. So let's proceed to case 2. Let's proceed to case 2. Remember in case 2, in case 2 we have x minus y. Then here we have x squared plus xy plus y squared. This is equal to 7 multiplied by 13. So this is the same thing as x minus y. This is equal to 7. And we have x squared plus xy plus y squared. This is equal to 13. So from the first equation here, we can expand this equation so that we have x minus y raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 7 to the power of 2. So that now here we have x squared plus y squared minus 2xy 
this is equal to 7 squared, which is equal to 49. And given this equation here, we have x squared plus xy plus y squared, this is equal to 13. And given that we have x squared here, minus 2xy plus y squared, this is equal to 49. So we can subtract these two green equations here, so that now we have x squared minus x squared, this is equal to 0. xy minus minus 2xy, this is equal to 3 x, y, then y squared minus y squared, this is equal to 0. And again here, we have 13 minus 49, and actually this is equal to minus 36. So we have 3 x, y, this is equal to minus 36. Let's divide by 3 here. So that now x, y, this is equal to minus 12. So given the equation that x minus y, this is equal to 7, we can make x to be the subject of the formula so that x will be equal to 7 plus y. And then let's substitute this x into this equation here. Substituting x into this equation, then we have y multiplied by 7 plus y, this is equal to minus 12. So let's open the parentheses here. We have 7y, then plus y squared, this is equal to minus 12. Let's take minus 12 on the left hand side, so that we have y squared plus 7y plus 12 this is equal to 0. Now we form a quadratic equation here of the form ay squared plus by plus c, this is equal to 0. So this implies that from this equation here, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 7, and that c is equal to 12. From this equation here, we can solve by factorization Remember the product here is equal to 12 and the sum is equal to 7. So we identify those two factors. When we add those two factors, we have to get a value of 7. When you multiply those two factors, we have to get a value of 12. So these two factors, we have 4 and 3. 4 times 3, this is 12. 4 plus 3, this is 7. So let's substitute these two factors so that we have y squared plus 4y plus 3y plus 12. This is equal to 0. So from the first part here, y is common. We can factor out y so that we have y plus 4. Then plus, from the second part here, 3 is common. So we factor out 3. So that we have y plus 4, this is equal to 0. So y plus 4 is common here. We can factor out y plus 4. Then we have y plus 3, this is equal to 0. So that now we have two parts here. We have y plus 4, this is equal to 0. And we have that y plus 3, this is equal to 0. So we have here y3, this is equal to minus 4, and we have y4, this is equal to minus 3. Now, we can solve for the corresponding value of x3 and x4. Now, if you recall, we have that x is equal to 7 plus y x is equal to 7 plus y. So that now x3, this is equal to, we have 7 plus y3, which is minus 4. And this means that x3 is equal to 7 minus 4. And this is equal to 3. 
So x3 is equal to 3. And this implies that x3 comma y3 this is the that set of solution this is the same thing as 3 comma minus 4 so this is the third set of solution let's solve for x4 x4 here will be equal to 7 plus y4 which is minus 3 and therefore x4 is equal to 7 plus times minus 3 this is minus 3 so x4 is equal to 4 and this implies that x4 comma y4 this is equal to 4 comma minus 3 so in this case we have four set of solutions now this implies that we have four solution sets here we have x1 comma y1 this is equal to minus 5 comma minus 6 then we have x2 comma y2 this is equal to 6 comma 5 then we have x3 comma y3 this is equal to now we have here yeah, we have 3 minus 4 and then we have x4 comma y4 this is equal to 4 minus 3 so these are the set of solutions for this algebra problem so can you follow the steps like this video and subscribe like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now